Dumbo Rally managed to catch up with Steph and Guy from the Choice Files to have a chat about their amazing S13 streetcar. The conditions were shocking, but we got the job done. It's a great story. You'll never guess what the plans are for the car next. Hi, I'm Steph and this is my S13. Okay, so it's an 18, it's a CA 18 car, yeah, right. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> and how long have you had it? Probably four years now. Yeah. Or three or four. Um, but I got this because my last one was turned into a track car. Oh, so and is that the, the pro car? No, no, no. Another no. one again? Another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So is this still the backup then? When the other four fall over, these got this one? <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. It wasn't the original what I was after, to be honest. Yeah. I wanted another 14. Oh, so do you prefer the 14s? Um, I have a soft spot for a pre preface of 14. Yep. My first jack car was a preface ah, of 14. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, so I was looking for one, but there was just nothing, and everything was just horrifically priced. Yes. And, um, oh, yeah, four years ago, true. Although yeah. I appreciate the value. Yeah, so not four years ago though. That was horrendous. Yeah. That was COVID, COVID pricing. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was when people wanted like 40 grand for an S13. Which I can't justify. No, neither can I. They're cool. Yeah. But like, I've had two yeah. and they were both less than five grand. Yeah. You know, and that's the world I grew up in, you know. So I bought my first 14 when I was 18 and yes. it was written off. Yep. Um, it was DE manual. Yes. And we revened it and got it on the road. Yep. Then sold that, kept half the money, and built another car. Yep. Um, I did a Laurel yep. after that, a 30 that Laurel. Yep. So I bought that crash too. Yeah. Then used the money to rebuild that 30 that it. Yep. And then sold that to the same person that bought my 14. Wow. Yep. So I sold that, kept half the money, and did it again. Then I bought another. I bought a 13. Yes. And that was CA. Yep. I bought that for two and a half grand. It was factory CA, yep. so ripped that and the box out, sold that for more than I paid for the car. Holy. And then bought another, oh, I bought an SR, or flight Niz Spares or something back in the day. It was yes. like, oh, not Manukau, but South Auckland. Yeah, 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 for two grand or whatever yeah. it was. Bought yeah, that two and a half, I think it was. And that um, seemed expensive at the time. It did, yeah. tremendous, <laughs> couldn't believe it. <laughs> Put that in over a weekend and um, started it up and it had a knock. Oh. So then called them up on the Monday yep. and um, they replaced that with, oh. with a fine one. But That's the advantage of the two grand, I suppose. Yep, that, exactly. Yeah, you've Came got that startup warranty. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. So had a few Laurels over the years. Um, always 30 debt, apart from one that I, I always have a bargain. Yes. So I, I, anything that I see and I'm like, oh, that's not bad. Yes. Jump on it. My favourite one, which yes. was not, it wasn't cool or anything, it was just a standard DE. Turbo. It did have a better turbo, yep. the 15 turbo, but it's got a disco potato on it now. Oh, 
like a yeah, just to make it work. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger injectors, just all the little bits and pieces. But um, yeah. guys, been squirreling away and doing some extra bits and pieces for me, which cool. um, it will get retuned soon. So it's like 220 kilowatt. Oh shit. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but really no, it gets does. Up. It does. No, no, it does. No, no, I'm, I'm a streetcar driver. Yeah. So I don't live in the drift car world. <laughs> so to me, 220 at the wheels, that's, that's good usable power. Not bad. Yeah, that's. I argue that 200 horsepower, uh, 200 kilowatt at the wheels is absolutely mint in most street cars. I suppose when you're, you know, comparing to the track cars that we've got and, yeah. and that, but I never get in here and feel it slow. No, 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 no. And you're on the road too, which helps, alright? It's chopped a few of the big boys over, over yeah. this time. Um, so like a carnival and that kind of stuff, we always try and get it out. Yeah. Do some taxi rides and stuff. Oh, so it'll be a carnival? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, hopefully we'll have them. Yeah, I'll be there. Well, assuming I get my media accreditation, I'm sure I'll, I'll be in a good books for that. I know, I'll go. Yay. I love S13s, man. They're just, you're a bit taller than me. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, yeah, sweet. I was waiting for that to be a lot more of a pain than that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, <laughs> you know, I know the company you keep. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it just feels right. <laughs> them feels good like you can get in like 50 of them and they're all done differently but they all feel right I agree it's, and they all smell the same yes ah oh, that's that's <laughs> old cars like my starlet the 82 anyone that gets in it goes oh yeah it smells like a starlet yeah. it's just that's weird eh <laughs> isn't it that was so red I just ah every like I was saying in the car every time you step in one of these no matter what's done to it it just everything feels right. Like everything, I don't know, maybe I'm the right size human or something. It just, everything's in the right place and everything just works. It's so cool. So why an S13? As we talked about before, it wasn't my first pick, yep. but it was what was available at the time. So just good value? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And there's a theme though. So surely someone in this household likes them. Well, I don't know. I think they're the best looking S chassis. Mm -hmm. And that one, I had that one before we met, and she had this one before we met. Yeah. And then we... I don't know that, that's even yeah. cooler. And then You're we, like S friends. We had that, we got that, and then we have two. Now we have multiple. And um, I don't know, I, yeah, to be honest, I think they're the best looking. And it obviously helps a lot um, having all the same car so they can all run the same parts. Yeah. And tell me about buying it. So the day you went and got it, where was it? Um, South Auckland. Yes. And it was a rigmarole because it was heaps of people on it. Yes. And the dude worked for Air New Zealand in the call centre. Okay. So rolled up. Oh, it was, it was yep. a bit of a tricky thing because he had financed the whole thing. Yes. And, you know, I love a bargain. It wasn't necessarily a bargain, but it was certainly not at the high end of sure. what I was Like we said, it was 2019 and it was scary. Yeah. Yep. So it was a, uh, okay, he's told me he's financed it. I don't know this guy. So get me all the details, all the paperwork, and I paid the finance company. Yeah. I paid them the full amount that I paid for the car, and then they reimbursed him the oh, wow. amount that I overpaid. Interesting. So it was just a whole cover my ass yep. and yep. make sure I wasn't going to get ripped off. Yeah. Cool. And then you just rolled up, drove it off, or was it a trailer? Or? No, rolled up, said thanks, he gave me the keys, and off I went. Yeah, you handed him no money and took I his car. That's, that's a win, right? Yeah. <laughs> And what have you done to it? So, it obviously didn't come... Was it black? No. No? It was basic bitch white. White, oh, wow. black roof, black door handles. Oh, so even the engine bay with the, the um, Prismatec in it, that's you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was going to be the original colour of the car. Yep. Um, but, changed my mind. And is that the S14 maroon? No. Okay. It's a candy... Oh wow. From um, DNA. Okay, yeah. Yep. So it's something about blood or murder or something. But... <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, it's red, it's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dead. But um, put in the, obviously, the, the flicker, like the sparkle, but yep. yeah. 
Cool. And then fan mm -hmm. black, stick it out, make it look like the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Two little things inside, so bigger injectors, bigger turbo, yep. that kind of stuff. Just basic. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you said it's 220 at the wheels, yep. kilowatt? Yeah. Yep. Which I still argue is, is fantastic. And as I said earlier, you weren't there. I'm not spoiled by drift cars. Yeah. So to me, 220 kilowatts of the wheels on a streetcar no, is that's, that's a great number. That's all a car streetcar needs. And yep. I'll, I'll argue that till the cows come Same. home. Same. Because like, I've driven this on the street, obviously multiple times. And it's fast enough to pass cars yep. when you want to. Yep. It's fast enough to have a bit of fun, yep. whatever, it handles great. Yep. But you're not like holding it back and yep. like, it's not nannering it kind of thing. You can drive it hard. And it has, it's really good. What's your best piece of advice for someone that goes and buys an S13 tomorrow? Sell them to us. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah, what's the listing number? Yeah. Um, <laughs> for, for what? For streetcar, for this, for what this is. Yeah, I'll get something as basic as you can find. Yep. Uh, don't buy somebody else's problem. Yep. So try, you'd go non-turbo auto if you could and no, then, no? not necessarily okay. that, just, you know, as soon as you start changing things and all that kind of thing, it yep. becomes a headache with cert and all that kind of stuff. We um, obviously are lucky enough to be sponsored by Strom Wheels, yep. but we got these wheels similar time to when we changed all the other cars. Yes. And it was white, the car was white, and then the wheels came factory white. So, um, yeah, she was away for the week or something, so myself and Grant managed to, yeah, we... And Nick come down, we just kind of fitted the tyres, because we got a tyre machine. Yes. Tyres, wheels, got everything sorted, but then she came home and... Like, yeah, I didn't actually pick these ones either, but I love them. Yeah. And white and white works. Yeah. I'm, I'm a white and white fan. Yeah. yeah. White and yeah. white. It looked, it looked really good for... It was a big change for what the car was. Yeah. We go to the gas station on this, because we were going to leave this... When we painted it, it still had white wheels, and we painted it black. Yeah. And it was like about three days before it was getting wrapped. So it was like... We were liking the white wheels on the black car, yep. and she was driving it around, and oh, this is cool, blah, 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 blah. It was like, sick. It, like, I have to show you a picture. Yeah. yeah, it looked good. That was hard. That's not a look I know, a black car with white wheels. No. It's not, so it's we not done. Like, no, you know? so we were like, okay, that looks good. Yep. And then I was at work one day, and our Red Star Science, they had come over, because they wrapped all of them in here all at once. Yeah. And then, sure enough, they did it, and we had them all out on the street. And we had five cars at the time that looked amazing and they all fitted each other and they complemented each other and we just drove it chrome and we had all three cars out on the track at yeah. once and things like that and like that is a to me because it was like we want to use it as a billboard right yeah yeah naturally um because we want to promote our brands our sponsors yeah uh, what we do blah 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 so it was like if we had one that wasn't yeah it just wouldn't really fit yeah yeah um it would be the no car yeah. It would, it would be, the, it's not your car. Like it's it'll just be the just, other car. It'll yeah. be subtle and whatever. It'll yeah. look good to normal people, yeah, like yeah, whatever, yeah. but it just wouldn't be the extra. Yeah. So now when you go to the gas station, people are like, what the hell? Like, why? Like, we've been pulled over by police and yeah. stuff. And they're like, is this a race car? No, it just looks like our race cars. There's nothing illegal about having stickers. And then they're like, yeah, it looks good. It's effective and it's, you know. I, I find, because I've been obviously putting stickers on cars for a long time also. Yeah. As soon as you add some stickers, especially if they're well-known brands, I find you get bothered less by the police. Yep, I think so. I, we, it looks like you care, and you're not trying to hide. Now, Steph, mm -hmm. what would be your perfect car to swap this with, to use as you use this, if money was no object? Oh. Another yeah. S13, just a, <laughs> <laughs> a different chassis. I have two, I have two. Okay. Yeah. I, I have three, actually. Yeah, go on. Um, I know you're going to guess the first one. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll guess all of them go. <laughs> a Continental, a Lincoln Continental. Oh, yes, okay. It's a bit fancy. Love that. Yep. Yeah. A Cosworth, a Sierra Cosworth. What model? Like old or? Old. Yep. Um, and the last one for nostalgic would be a Renault GT Turbo. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yep. Cool. Mm. What's next with the car? I know you've got a list of that. What, what, what are we doing? Yep. Retune, computer. Yep. What brand computer are you going to run? Link ECU. But we have a few things that we want to do to it. Um, speaking of Calford cams, we want to do a head package in it. Cool. And stuff just because I beat on it when I drive it and I want it to hold together. And so it's going to stay SR? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't need anything more. Like, it really doesn't. Um, I just like the lazy mid-range talk of the oh, they, RBS. Honestly, it's... I've had a great time driving this when yep. I've drifted it around at like Hampton Skidpad and stuff. Yep. And like it's hilarious. Like I honestly have a great time.
driving it and all of that. But yeah, we just have leave the RBs to the drift cars. Yep. And yeah, we didn't have an SR. It's all it needs. Sure. Sure. Well, thank you. I really enjoyed driving that. Like way more than I thought I would. I love these settings. I said it like a million times in this interview, but <laughs> I just they're just perfect. And you've made me want another one, which sucks. Do it. But yeah. it'll happen. Well, and it'll then happen. you should buy one, and then we'll buy it off you when you start, when you're sick of it. I'll never sell it. Perfect. That's the problem. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, we have a that, problem. Yeah. We don't sell things. No. Nah. They just like turn up and they go, oh, we need a bigger shed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I was saying earlier that the the amount of cars you should own, you know, the formula. Okay. Is, is N plus one, yeah. <laughs> and N is the amount of cars you own currently. Yes. Yeah. Mm.